What is going on guys? Welcome to the top five worst chest exercises. To rank these workouts, I devise a simple yet effective criteria based on four key factors. The effectiveness of the range of motion, how well the exercise builds chest strength, how well the exercise grows your chest, and finally, how prone to injury is the exercise. These four factors combine together to create the worst chest workouts. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, coming in at our number five, kicking off the list, I'm starting super hot and controversial because I love starting arguments in the comments. It is none other than the classic push up now before start getting roasted i want to put it out there that i genuinely love the range of motion the push-ups give you it's very unique and is a great upper body exercise especially if you don't have any equipment it mainly targets your chest with some tension on your shoulders triceps and even biceps every single pool party i've ever been invited to i've always busted out the i gotta take a piss line meaning i'm going to the washroom and doing a set of push-ups till failure because of just that juicy upper body pump push-ups give you oh my god it's it's amazing. If this video was about top five worst upper body exercises, push-ups would be nowhere near on this list. However, we're talking about chest and only chest. And although it does give you a great upper body pump, it isn't very challenging. I don't know a single person that goes to the gym that can't do at least 40 push-ups in a row. I just don't. The basic push-ups are just too easy and don't give your chest much of a challenge, nor is it great for gaining strength for your chest. However, I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad as if you do them till failure, it will give you that ideal chest burn you're aiming for. It's just that this exercise is outdated meaning there's just better alternatives for overall improving your chest. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the landmine chest press. This exercise involves holding one end of a barbell, typically with one arm, and pushing it upwards until one of your arm is fully extended. You can do this standing, not standing, as it's totally up to you. Now, there's reasons I don't like this exercise and why it's on this list. The first one, the range of motion is shit. It feels limited and awkward regardless if you perform it standing or sitting. The second reason, it's time consuming. Since you can't target both pecs simultaneously, you have to do two sets, one for each pec, all just to target your upper chest. And yes, I'm aware you can do both pecs at the same time, but if you're like me, you quickly realize it's far more worse and less effective than doing one pec at a time. Do you know the other exercise that's similar to landmine chest press? Incline barbell chest press. And you know what is less time consuming? Incline barbell press. And you know which exercise has a better range of Motion. Yeah, you get the idea and climb barbell press the landmine press is also pretty shitty for building a bigger chest Which is yet another reason you shouldn't do it more of the story if you're aiming to target your upper chest Just do incline barbell press coming at number three spot We have the dumbbell bench flies now when I first saw people doing this exercise I was like yo that exercise looks fucking sick. It was a pec deck, but with dumbbells I couldn't believe my eyes. I instantly had to try it as it turned me on sexually I just suck off free weights because the machines are for pussies yeah, I said it. Nah, I'm joking. Or am I joking? Okay, now, but seriously, I started incorporating this in my chest days, sometimes especially because the pec deck machine gotta be the most camped on machine of all time. Everyone just loves sitting there on their phone. So if this meant getting the same range of motion as the pec deck, minus being on the waiting list, I was so in. There was actually a period of time where I would do this every other chest day. Well, what's so bad about this exercise? And why is it on this list? You're probably asking. There's one major flaw that puts this exercise on this list, and that is the high risk of injury. If it wasn't for this factor, this exercise would be nowhere near on this list however the range of motion this exercise gives you is basically inviting shoulder tears because of how easily you can overextend your arms there's been plenty of times where i've overextended my arm too much and heard that warning shoulder pop noise my shoulders are basically telling me to stop doing this workout and that if i do even the slightest wrong movement my shoulder will and can tear at any repetition this workout seems to be notorious for shoulder injuries especially because i personally know people who got injured while performing this workout it sucks because i really wanted to like this exercise the car concept was actually cool however overall as much as i hate to say it, you might gotta just deal with the pec deck line because it's safe and you'll get the same range of motion with little to no risk of injury we are now on to the top two worst chest workouts this is where i can comfortably say these next two exercises are just bad and ineffective claiming the number two spot is probably the most controversial exercise on the list especially how high i decided to put it but i don't care because i hate it it is the decline chest press now where do i start with with this oh how about this exercise is fucking useless especially because the fact that flat benches exist i mean come on what's the actual point of hitting a decline bench press if you guys don't know what the difference is a flat bench barbell will target your entire chest giving you a great range of motion if doing it correctly it is one of the best chest workouts for building strength and promoting significant chest muscle growth however when we grab the bench and put it on a decline the whole dynamic changes the bench press will now only target your lower chest leaving your upper chest severely underdeveloped it's now so 
sole purpose is to shape the lower border parts of your pecs. Do I even have to expand on that? The only exception is if you're obviously competing for bodybuilding where you have to shape your whole entire chest, which is obviously a low percentage of people. Oh, and if you're a consistent decline chest breast type of guy, then you better stay consistent because if you don't, your pecs will start to sag because this exercise contributes to muscle imbalances, basically turning you into a female because you now have pecs that look like women's breasts. Just stop trying to be different and bench press on a normal flat bench like the rest of us. Coming in at our number one part of the top five worst chest exercises, we have dumbbell hex press. What a garbage overhyped chest workout. This exercise got super popular through TikTok as it essentially mimics a normal dumbbell chest press just with your elbows tucked in and onto your chest. Now, if you're someone who does this over the dumbbell chest press, you either saw someone do it on TikTok and have no idea what the fuck you're doing or you're trying to be different because there's no real advantages this has over the normal dumbbell chest press. The person who invented this must have woken up one day thinking his ass is Elon Musk trying to enhance a normal dumbbell chest press just with a small tweak of tucking in their elbows and calling it a hex press. I decided to try out this workout when I seen how popular it was online and so as I was attempting this workout I was experiencing more tension on my tricep despite it being classified as a chest exercise. I've also heard people say the same thing over social media how if anything it's more of a tricep workout. For those of you who actually do this just stop trying to be different because it's the worst chest exercise out there thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the vid please leave a like and to check out my instagram account let me know any specific top fives you'd like to see next and i'll see you guys in the next vid peace